What's up, guys? So, here at work at the LFS, and this guy's been here for a while, so I thought I would showcase him, show him, because you usually don't see fish like him this big in, say, a fish store or in public. Usually you see him in, like, aquariums or museum type thing. But this is a 20-year-old Australian lungfish. He is huge. Um, this is a 120 gallon tank. It's four foot by two foot by two foot. Just to give you guys a size comparison, I wear a size 15 shoe. Just a size comparison. I honestly size 15 shoes. So there you go. But this is Louis the lungfish. We named him here because he is uh, the owner of the store knew a guy that had a cigar shop down in LA and unfortunately that man passed away and his business partner took over the cigar shop and this guy and big Bruce here was sitting in the cigar shop in a big 500 gallon tank and um, long story short boss man went down there the guy told him that they were two foot well as you see nowhere near two foot but um and so he was talking to him and he said oh dude uh i don't have nowhere to house these fish so he's like well if you buy the fish off me i will give you the tank so well now these guys are both sitting here just chilling until because he had to it, and we're in bakersfield and that's in la so he had to pick up the fish first bring them here and i just got to go back and uh get the tanks and get that cycled and set up and then these guys are going to go at the warehouse and be pets for our store but it's going to be at our warehouse but yeah and this guy eats Mazavi, uh, Akari Mazavi, uh, I can't talk Akari Mazavor Delight sneaking pellets that's what he eats uh, very little personable guy he is always always just saying hi and just chilling he comes up to the top Sometimes he's not gonna do it right now, but very very cool fish, very unique, something you don't see very often all the time. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I figured out that he is an Australian lungfish because you know you he has the short little little fins. He doesn't have the long tracers like the the African lungfish. And this is the lungfish that is like those ones that you see that where the uh, the lakes and the rivers dry up where they build that little cocoon and they can live out in that cocoon outside of water for up to three years before when the droughts happen. And then when the floods come back, they crack open that cocoon and swim on and go find, I guess, a partner and breed and do all their good stuff. But that's about all he does. Chills there. He, Like I said, he does come up mainly to this corner and comes all the way to the top. And just chills, waits for some food. We drop in his pellets, he gets excited, and then he goes back to just laying there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a good day.